hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is on this look now i wanted to do something fun for like a new year's eve kind of makeup look and i was looking into doing like silver and black but i feel like those two colors are like super played out for new year's so i wanted to do something different something out of the box something just kind of colorful and like bright and like in your face but it still also said that i'm here to like it up you know this look was actually inspired by katie aka luster lux or is it backwards luster lux aka i don't know but this is one of the looks that she did whenever they announced that they were coming out with their frankation palette and like their dose of color collaboration and honestly i love this blue i loved how it looked on her i feel like this is a really pretty color if you have brown eyes because just the blue makes the brown in your eyes like stand out so much at least i think so hopefully you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and you guys enjoy it and like it and i already said enjoy but so let's go ahead and get started but before we do go ahead and subscribe to this channel like this video and turn on the little notification bell so you know when i upload and we live happily ever after so let's go ahead and get started Okay, to start off, we're going to prime the lid, and I'm just going to be using a concealer. Right now, I'm using the, uh, what is this, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So just blend that out. And with the Pretty Vulgar Setting Powder, I'm going to set the lid. You don't have to do a lot of setting powder, just, you know, a little bit, enough to cover the whole lid. But you're not really trying to super set it, like if you would your under eyes. This is just how, the. This is just so the eyeshadows go on, like they glide a little bit smoother. The first color that we're going to go in, it's going to be the color Basic in the Frankation palette. I'm just using a really fluffy blending brush, blending brush for this. Just grabbing Basic and putting this all over the lid. Just realize I have like a lot of um, sunlight coming through because of my window. So please excuse that. And now with the color Try Me, oh no, what is this? Girl By, which is this like burgundy kind of cranberry color. We're gonna go in the crease. We're just gonna start building it up. I might have not chosen the best time to film this. I'm right next to a window, so it's super sunny right now. And it's like all coming through my blinds. You just want to make sure that you super blend this color. We are going to be adding another color all over the lid for this, but I just want to make sure that this color is really, really blended out. With this color, it's really pigmented, so it's easier if you just kind of start little by little and then blend out. And then if you see that you need a little bit more, then you would add a little bit more. But this is such a pretty color. Like the, br it's, I was gonna say the brandy the burgundy notes on this it's kind of like I mean it's kind of like a cranberry brown but I think it's more of like a red brownish to me it's not really burgundy but it's not really just brown I always have a lot more trouble blending like my left eye I don't know why I don't know if it's the way that I like hold my brush or just since it's like on the other side or or what i hope i'm not covering like my face with the palette as i'm blending i usually have a mirror like right in front of me and i do today too but i feel like if i scoot in like right there you can see like all the sunlight coming through so i'm trying to stay as backer as i can if you hear the growling i apologize dallas is going crazy because the trash people are outside she thinks we're in danger or something, I guess. See? There you go. Now, I'm trying to recreate the exact look that Katie had. So, we're also going to be using the Marvelous Mauve uh, palette from the Dose of Color. And on this one, I'm just going to be using the darkest shade on the palette, which is this, like, really dark brownie, mauve black kind of color. Sorry, guys. Apparently, I have a guard dog. Okay. So... She's really not going to let me film. I'm just taking a smaller blending brush. Okay, so I'm taking the darkest shade in that palette. And we're adding this to like the outer part of the eye. Just to deepen it up a little bit. 
And then you can start blending this towards the inside. We're focusing this on like the crease and below. We're trying to not hide the that girl by color that we used. This is just to add a little bit of depth to the eye look. So a little bit on there and then across. Now that we have the darker color on there, I'm going to take this, um, what is this? This is just like a flat brush. And with that, we're going to go in with the color a moment because the cuts because i mean this is look gonna be a moment so it's that blue on there and with this we're just gonna pack on the color i might need to wet the brush a little bit but honestly it's working really good with just like just a dry brush yeah dallas is still going at it for those of you that don't know i have a dog named dallas and uh sometimes she doesn't let me film I didn't see Katie wet her brush before going in there, but I kind of wanted to be a little bit more like in your face kind of blue. So I'm going to try wetting the brush and then just adding like in the middle. Just add a little bit more of like a wow factor. Now with my wet packing brush, we're just going to use a little bit of Fix Plus. Wet it just a bit and then add... A little bit more of that blue it's honestly not really making it darker but it's making the color pop a little bit more so that's it for like the top part for the bottom of the lid I'm just gonna add a little bit of churro well I'm gonna add girl by to the bottom of the lid I can't remember exactly what color she used but we're gonna add some girl by and then I'm also gonna be adding the darkest color from the marvelous moss palette that we used just adding a little bit on top just to deepen it up so now that I have my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and add lashes and do the rest of the face and then I'll add the lip at the end to finish the look okay <music> we have pretty much the lashes everything done the only thing I have left to do is the lip and I wanted to do that on camera just because I guess I don't know now I'm gonna be using the bodyography timber lip pencil well the lip pencil in the color timber this has been like my favorite favorite go-to lip liner lately I usually don't like to line my lips because I feel like my lips are like really big and I feel like it makes them look bigger but with this color I don't know honestly I've been like loving it I also don't like to like overline my lips I just kind of go barely on the line I don't know why I tried to talk while I was doing my lip liner now for the lip color I'm gonna be trying two colors I'm gonna be trying the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Hudson and then on top of that I'm gonna put a nude no I'm gonna be putting doll face from Too Faced so I'm hoping to make it more of a like dark nude since this color itself is not very nude. This reminds me of kind of like terracotta-ish kind of color. I'm going to let that dry a little bit more so that way I can apply the doll face on top and it won't like smear all over the place. This is from the peach collection and it smells, it smells like white chocolate and peaches. I like it, but I also don't like it because you kind of smell it throughout the day. Well, at least I do. And I feel like it's kind of overwhelming sometimes. Okay, now that it's dried up a little bit more, I'm going to add doll face in the middle. And I feel like adding that really nude lip on top of it, it makes the lips look a little bit like plumper in a way. Although I just said I don't like my lips because they're super big, but I'm making them look plumper. So, yeah. This is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this isn't like the typical New Year's kind of look. I was, I honestly was going to do the black and silver kind of color, but I feel like 
I wanted to do something different, branch out a little bit, just, you know, be a little bit bold because honestly, I feel like silver and black are like super played out. They're still super pretty and like I love them, but I just wanted to do something super different for New Year's with this pop of color and I feel like it still says like boom in your face, I'm here to party. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this look and thanks again for coming back, for staying all the way to the end. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, like this video and turn on the little notification bell and bye!